This video is brought to you by Optin Monster. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add smart coupons to your WooCommerce store. This is a perfect way to increase the average order value of your customers by giving them the opportunity to apply certain coupons when certain conditions are met. For instance, if you're wanting to give them a buy one, get one for free or a buy one, get or buy two, get one for half off, any kind of combination of that you can do. And I'm going to show you actually four different smart coupon types and how you can apply them. We'll be using a premium plugin called Advanced Coupons. This is a great feature to add to your WooCommerce store if you're looking to increase your revenue. And we'll have a link in the description below, but we'll be installing the Advanced Coupons plugin. So once you go through this and get your plugin, you'll want to download it locally and make sure you copy your license key. You'll also get the license key emailed to you so you can grab that. And then let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard so we can install the plugin. Great. From the dashboard, we'll go to plugins, add new, and we want to upload the plugin. And from here, you can click choose file to find the plugin that we just downloaded. Once we find it, let's go ahead and click install now. Make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, it's going to tell you that you need to also install their free version. So let's go ahead and click the big button here to say click install from the WordPress repo. Perfect. And once it installs and activates both of those, then we also want to activate the plugin by adding our license key. You can either click on activate here, or you can also, if you ever need to come back to it, go over to the left under coupons, license, where we can add our license key and our activation email. Perfect. Once we activate everything, then we're good to go. Now we can create the coupons that we want to create. So I'm going to show you four different types of coupons that you can create. And the first one is doing a buy one, get one free coupon. So to do that, we'll want to head over to the left under coupons and we'll go add new. And the great thing about the BOGO coupon is you can do a buy one, get one free. You can do buy two, get the third one for half off. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So we'll do a BOGO. You can do the code up here, do a description if you want. And we're not going to mess with the fixed discount or any of these items. So we're going to go over to BOGO deals. And then this is where we can set it up. So for instance, you want to have a trigger. The trigger is if they already put a certain product or a combination of products or even product categories in their cart, then you can select them from here. So like, say if you're doing a winter sale, you could do a whole product category of winter items or jackets or something like that. For this, we'll just do a specific product. So if they buy a specific item or that we select here, then they will then be able to get the free item down here. So let's just do, do one of the shirts and they only need to buy one here. So we'll just say that. And then you can add multiple. So you can give them a combination if they buy this type of shirt or if they buy any of these other shirts, you could add as many as you want. And then if they buy any of those items, then they'll get a specific item from this list. So we need to add the product that we want to give them for free. And it could be the same product. It could be an accessory product. You can choose how you want this to work. So we'll give them a WP beginner birthday t-shirt if they want, and we'll get them one. You can either do a price override, just meaning it'll be zero if they put that in. If you're wanting to do like a buy two, get one for half off, then you could do a percentage off. And that would be for like 50% off of the amount. But for this one, we're actually just overriding the price and we're doing it to zero. So we're good with that. And that's what they'll get. If they buy either of these shirts, they'll get this one for free. And then down here under additional settings, you can choose to do it only once. You can allow them to do it repeatedly. So it would reply every time that condition is met. And then What's cool is you can also add a notice. So it says that your current cart is eligible to redeem deals. We can also create the button. And then here, the button URL, where are you going to take them? We want to actually take them to the actual t-shirt. And if you were doing this for a category, you could even just share the category area. And I'll show you what this does. So I'm going to do it for that specific t-shirt since that's one we're giving. I'll paste it there and the notice type will be a success. And now let's click the save deals. And I'll show you what this looks like. So if I go to get the t-shirt with the logo, which 
is the one that I selected. Add that to cart. And then if we go to view cart, and if I apply the coupon, and now you see when you apply the coupon, it says that it's eligible to receive, redeem a deal. And then we can say view my deals and it will take us to the t-shirt where then we can add to cart. And now when we view the cart, we'll see that the deal has been taken and now it's for free. So we see that done here. So really cool and powerful effect for creating a BOGO on your site. The next step is creating a URL coupon where they can auto apply. And I love this because then that means that you don't have to keep track of all the codes or people don't have to keep track of all the codes. This is really good, especially for social media if you're just sharing some deals on your social media networks. So for that one, we also need to go into coupons and we're gonna say add new. We need to give it a name and this you can kind of decide what do you want. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a 10% off and scrolling down, you can choose the discount type. This is either a fixed amount off or like the title suggests, I'm doing a percentage off. I'm gonna do 10. And over on the left, we want to do a URL coupon. Now we don't see it here because we actually need to publish it first. So let me go ahead and publish. And then once it's published, we'll get the URL code. Go to the URL coupon area the URL that then you can give out and it'll automatically apply that discount. And now if I use that coupon code and put in my URL and go to my store, now you see that the coupon has been applied successfully. So when I scroll down, then you see that 10% has been taken off by using that coupon code. Very cool. Now, what if you want to create a scheduled coupon? Let's do that next. So I'm going to come up here and say add coupon. And for this one, we're gonna call it a schedule. Again, you want to decide how much of a coupon you want to give. And let's just say we're going to do fixed cart amount. Do $5 off and schedule is, when do we want this to start and end? Great, now that we've scheduled that, now we can hit publish. I've set up the schedule to be outside of my schedule time. So it's not supposed to happen yet. So if I try and apply this coupon, Right now, it's not started yet, and I'll get that. If I go back in and adjust the dates to within the time period, then it'll apply the $5 discount. And then finally, we're going to set up a free gift coupon. So we'll go through the whole process again of adding a coupon, adding the coupon, and for this, we'll say free shirt. Come down here, add the product. The product that we wanna add is the logo shirt. And under here, we want to do override price to zero. So when the customer adds this to their cart, if they have the free shirt coupon code, then it'll take it to zero. We'll click publish on that. And now when I go and apply my free shirt coupon, it automatically goes out and grabs the product and brings it into my cart. And then you see it also is showing down here. So a really cool feature for adding a free item for your customers. Now, what if you want to do like a free amount if they spend a certain amount, then it's very similar. We can do that as well. Say they spend $20, they'll get a free gift or something like that. Instead of doing the ad product, we'll do usage restriction. So the minimum spend, we're gonna say they need to at least spend $20. Individual use only, it means it can't be done with other coupons and it can't be sales items. So you could check that if you want and then go find the product that you wanna to give to them for free, and then we can publish. So if they spend over $20, then they will get that free t-shirt for a free gift. And then the cool thing that you can do is once you set up all of your coupons, the best way to showcase them is by using OptiMonster. OptiMonster does a great job of doing conversion rate optimization as well as email lead generation. But for your website, it'll be perfect to set up a pop-up that encourages people to go to your products area. And then you can also showcase the coupon pop-up where you go through and then apply that all throughout your store to really encourage people to use that coupon code. To get started with OptiMonster, just head over to OptiMonster.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on OptiMonster. And thanks for watching.